Hello, this is Dr. Antin from RD Physics. Yes, I am a real doctor, but not the kind that helps people. I'm an engineer. And in this video, I will show you our next step in developing a 2.1 sub and satellite system for desktop use. As far as the satellites go, we continue with this spherical shape and a tripod configuration consisting of lead screws and that allows us to adjust the tilt by simply rotating individual legs. In this development stage, the subwoofer is also spherical and let's talk about the spherical shape for a moment. When you're thinking about 3D printing, it is the optimal shape because we get minimum material use for a given volume and we get minimal material use for a given stiffness. Compared to our previous version of the 2.1 sub and satellite system, we have reduced the footprint because we found that especially the subwoofer was quite large and took up a lot of space on the desktop. So now we are using 3-inch drivers instead of 4-inch ones uh, with a smaller diameter enclosure. We are using a 5-inch subwoofer driver instead of the 6.5-inch one used previously and the enclosure is much smaller. This is about 5 liters instead of the 13 liters of the previous build. Let's then talk about the material and printing. So in the previous version we used metal filled filament and that was nice because we got added density and added rigidity. But it was quite brittle and difficult to print. So for this version we used wood filled filament which is very easy to sand. And also for the subwoofer, we use the same wood fill filament. The SW1, our previous subwoofer, used PLA because we needed a lot of it. It was a 4 kilogram print. Let's now go through the components. So over here we have a Tang Band W3 full range driver with bamboo cone. And this is a Tang Band W5 subwoofer unit with the ferrite magnet. And the binding posts we use are Dayton Audio binding posts, really nice and sturdy. And the lead screws are 12 millimeter lead screws and they are bonded to the frame with the help of round lead screw nuts. This is a passive speaker set and that means that you're going to need a 2.1 amplifier. In the previous project we used the Lepi 2.1 amp and its main benefit is the low cost. But that's about it. We were not completely convinced that it's a good product even though it is cheap. There were some audible hum and also some loud DC pops were heard and the high pass filter is fixed at 100 Hertz. So for example these guys in a small enclosure they don't play to 100 Hertz. So it would be nice to have an adjustable high pass filter as well. The low pass filter was adjustable, yes, but it's quite shallow. So you can hear vocals from the subwoofer and that's not ideal at all. So what I'm recommending is that you get a external 2.1 amp like the Arilic one. Get an enclosure for that and use that instead. And it has Bluetooth connectivity as well. How do these sound? I'd say the sound is very similar to our previous set with their Dayton audio drivers, except this is in a much smaller footprint. So actually the bass extension from this guy is the same as for the larger subwoofer. So we get about the same frequency response, but in a more compact size. Of course, with the five inch driver, we're going to have more cone excursion. Um, it can get pretty high at loud listening levels. The three inch full range drivers, once again, when we're having a fairly large full range driver, it's gonna be directive at high frequencies, but that's just the name of the game. The geometry files for our previous builds were available for free, but these ones we're putting on sale on Etsy. So go have a look at our store over there. The link is in the description. You see, we don't run ads, we don't use cookies, we don't collect your personal information, we don't take sponsor money from anyone. These are all bought with our own money. So if you'd like to support us, please use the affiliate links before ordering components from Sound Imports. 
And if you want to build this set yourself, um, go to our Etsy shop and purchase the STL files over there. Thank you for supporting.